three accidents happened with Pobeda Airlines aircraft in six hours. After landing in Chebaksari on a flight from Moscow, the pilots reported that the landing gear had caught fire. An aircraft flying from Moscow to Barnaul was forced to land in Novosibirsk due to a failure of onboard systems. And the pilots of the plane flying from Moscow to Ufa reported problems with the wiring. It's been Air Flot's eighth plane, which has broken down in five weeks. Because of this, 400 people could not fly out of Thailand for a long time. In Russia, the number of accidents with civil aviation has tripled. According to Newsweek, more than 180 cases of malfunctions during flight have been recorded since the beginning of 2023. In 2022, there were three times fewer of them, 60. New forecasts already definitely give clear signals that such dynamics of growth in aviation incidents could lead to disasters as early as 2024. The worst thing is that they have already begun to hide the facts and simply not officially record all the incidents. Andrei Patrakov, founder of the flight safety service Run Avia, in an interview with Sibir Reali. From December the 1st to December the 12th, the Federation recorded 14 breakdowns. Aircraft break down almost every day. The increasing number of incidents in civil aviation is caused by a shortage of spare parts and maintenance due to sanctions against the aggressor country, experts say. It has become much more difficult to obtain for many aircraft. And secondly, and worst of all, it is possible that spare parts not certified by manufacturers have already begun to be installed on aircraft. Kirill Yankov, chairman of the Russian Passenger Union, and the comment to 74.ru. In Russia, two Siberian airlines have already asked the government to extend the service life of 50-year-old N-24 and N-26 aircraft, since due to Western sanctions, there is nothing to replace them with. Continued operation of the N-24 and N-26 aircraft will inevitably increase the cost of a flight hour, because maintaining the aging fleet around the world depends, first of all, on economic feasibility. But the outdated planes, a significant part of which were planned to be taken out of service before 2025, will soon have nothing to be repaired with, airline officials say. In the last two years, operation has been complicated by the problem associated with the provision of spare parts and engine repair components. They concern not only our airline, but also all operators of the N24 and N26. This issue needs to be resolved. Already an acute shortage of spare parts has led to so-called aircraft cannibalism. In Russia, in order to repair some planes, they dismantle the others. It's crucial that the airliners are now also cut off from the software updates and maintenance needed to ensure their airworthiness, which also means flight safety. Reported by Diana Kolesnik, Natalia Husak, UATV News.